Hi, I'm Sheila Gibson, Sheila O'Neill Gibson. I've been at Holy Names since 1966. That was the year before the Summer of Love. And I began to love this place from the first moment I got on campus. Hi, this is Marion Marshall. I have taught at Holy Names University for uh, 21 years. Hi, I'm Russ Jacobus. I've been teaching at Holy Names uh, since 2003. I started as an adjunct and I've been here full-time for the last five years. My name is Maria Mangini, and uh, I seem to have outlasted my uh, other faculty members who joined at the same time that I did, because I'm still here. Hello, I'm Rick Patrick. I first taught a course at Holy Names College at that time in uh, 1973. When I was here the first year, I was on the Student Affairs Committee, and what with the main part of our work was to decide whether students would be allowed to wear jeans to class. Well, that was approved and it's never been the same since. Uh, we went from being kind of young women of the same age to women of different ages, and then we added men to the mix. All of those changes happened in the 70s mostly. Age and you has changed enormously, um, both in in terms of the impact of technology on both the faculty and the students. The students, uh, you know, you refer to people as digital natives. Well, they're all natives now, uh, where faculty of my generation are not. A production in a studio art course is often digital now, where it used to be a traditional media. Uh, photography's changed over to digital, but all of the graphic arts and uh, areas of uh, design, three-dimensional design, 3D printing, it's allowed me the opportunity to keep up with the students. When um, George Zimmer, the man who started the men's warehouse, gave his significant donation toward the, the um, remodeling and uh, restoration and, res and revamping of the science department, the one thing he asked for was that a lab would be named after Todd McUriel. So we have the Todd McUriel Memorial Laboratory here. And I think a lot of people don't know what Dr. McUriel's heritage was. But I certainly do because I've been involved in the use of cannabis as a medicine for some time. Uh, back in 2003, before every class, I had to contact campus services to have one of those 1950s overhead projectors rolled into the classroom so I could use transparencies to teach accounting. And nowadays, thanks to Luis and thanks to uh, Katrina and thanks to Rex, we've got projectors in every classroom, we've got online capacity, we've got places to store videos, and we've got online classes. We've come a long ways in just the few years that I've been here. The sisters that set the tone uh, for this place in terms of uh, maintaining a strong commitment to a liberal education, uh, to training the mind to think the world is too uncertain a place, the future is going to change too fast. That is going to prepare people for the future better than any kind of training. But a true liberal education in the meaning of, of liberal is to, to liberate the mind. The students are still drawn here for the right reasons. Um, students will come back and say that faculty believed in them before they believed in themselves. So the core or the essence of the university has remained the same. The thing I like most about Holy Names is the students. They don't take themselves too seriously, they don't take me too seriously, but they take their work seriously. And I also enjoy my faculty. They're very quick-witted, very educated, uh, very fun to work with. Very grateful to um, contemplate the prospect that Holy Names is spacious enough to let me undertake a new project and give up my old project while still re retaining my affiliation with this university, which is important to me. Uh, my advice to HNU students Take classes that you find interesting. This is a rare opportunity in your life to have experts in their field come and talk to you for um, an hour or two a week and tell you what they know about their field. And don't do drugs, stay in school. I've been here for a lot of years because I love to teach. I think of teaching as very dynamic. I listen to you, you listen to me, we have respectful collaboration. You tell me what it is you need in every class. I try and deliver it. If it's not a part of that class, then I will meet with you privately in order to um, meet your needs. And I used to introduce myself to um, the, the next generation of the students coming in in the fall and I'd say, I must like teaching because I have been in a school every day of my life, every year, every start of the school year, 
since I was five years old. I, I'm a product of Catholic education, so I'm used to working with religious sisters, and I find it to be a really um, pleasant environment in which to work. You know, seize the day. You have a chance for a great education. Take advantage of it. Life's an adventure. I really don't have any idea exactly what's coming next. I'll work a little bit. I hope to stay artistically productive. What does it mean to be alive? A life that is genuinely human. Feeling, thinking, active physically, all of those things are part of being human. And then what makes them good? Have your education be a continuing conversation with people that you love and respect and appreciate, as friends, about what's important. And I don't think education is about just getting a job. It's not just about a credential. It's not just about knowing things. It's about learning and thinking and talking about a good human life.